So one of the coolest things about old motorcycles is the ability to have different components that you can learn on and and, and create. Um, so today I'm going to show you just some of the stuff that I had done in the past. This was when, this is about 10 years ago, I started doing a lot of leather tooling and uh, it was just a lot of fun. It was a lot of creative energy can go towards it. And, uh, for, you know, for, to make a seat for a custom chopper or a bobber. Um, so this is one I've made. You'll see a video on it on the, my bike. This is a, this one was done actually 14 years ago now. The Valdez, all kinds of leather stripe, uh, leather lacing. This one I did, it's actually 12 years ago already. So this is a, uh. Knuckle motor. I think I got the picture out of an old outlaw biker or something. And all I did all the tooling, all the lacing, all in the back too, nice and clean. There's another one. This is a. I did this one actually, tw yeah, twelve years ago. So it's a kind of a. Uh, Shovel bottom, knuckle, pan. I can't remember where I got that picture from. Different type of lacing, you're more simple. A little dusty. I have these hanging because for me, again, once you put the effort in and all the time that goes into it, I don't want to sell them. I just like to look at them, you know, like remind you, remind yourself that what you can accomplish by doing, by learning a new skill. So uh, this is my favorite one I've ever done. It's just nice and crisp. So I made this seat. God, it's now been like 14 years since I started this seat. Uh, I've run it a little bit, not very much. So it, it should uh, break in a lot nicer. You can see 2009, cash is king. The Valdez, this is, that's, I only have the one bike I really have a name for or anything. It's just, this one's always been the Valdez because it's always leaked oil. If you ever remember the Exxon Valdez spill in the 90s, I think. So this is, uh, yeah, this seat took a lot of effort. This is one of my, this is one, one bike, uh, like one seat that, uh, it was the stitching that was a lot of work. I think it was called like a double whip cross stitch. Don't quote me on that one. It's been a long time. Um, kind of simple, you know, no, not a lot of detail in it, but if I, I wanted that look, that seat on this bike, this is a, this was my first bike. This was a, it started off as a 65 pan head chopper. And uh, the only thing left from that original bike is the frame, which has been modified. I think the back hub, the gears in the transmission, and the fork tubes. Everything else has been changed over the years. So, so right now this seat just held on with uh, Velcro completely Leather all the way around. I don't try and sound like I'm some leather guy. I just showing you what uh, what I did in the past. When I got the interest to look into leather tooling, a friend of mine happened to have a whole bunch of stuff that she had collected and was used back in the 70s. So I bought everything off of her. Um, including all the tools, you, know, you can see different, there's different types of tools, there's smooth ones, textured, different textured striations, you name it. Um, this is a swivel knife, this is uh, for help for cutting the leather, all different dies, some old ones, some new ones, you know, that's pretty early, different books. These are, you know, 70s. 
this guy, Al Stolman, he's a kind of famous, you know, check him out. One of the things I uh, highly recommend is Tandy Leather. Actually, at the time, I still, I hope they still do it. They would offer free classes and I, uh, and I took one class in a early morning with a buddy and it was kind of interesting because we were the only adults there, except for the instructor. It was all a bunch of kids, and uh, it's kind of funny, you know, a couple of like 30 year old, 30 something year old guys learning how to tool leather in a Saturday morning with a bunch of kids, but it was cool, you know. Um, so here's, here's an interesting thing. There's two different hammers here. This one's a wooden one. And this one's rawhide and this is my favorite hammer it's got more weight to it and it's a little bit softer it just you know when you're hammering on it, it doesn't it doesn't have the same noise and you can but the, you get all kinds of samples you start learning it's pretty cool pretty cool stuff so this seat pan just to give you an idea what it looks like. This is a, it's like a high density foam and um, shaping it and made the seat pan, welded in the, the studs, the, turned the studs on my lathe and you know, bent it up the way I wanted it, the curve I wanted it. Still have to build this one. This has been sitting around for about 10 years. So here's some blanks that I'd cut out. That'll go onto this seat. So this is what it started off as. That's what it be, can become. Your imagination's your only limitation. Never forget that. So I got this picture, I can't remember, out of some old magazine, some old biker kind of magazine. It's so like of a 15 Cyclone, one of my favorite bikes of all time. This one's still not finished. I still got a bit of work around here. But this, this is just scrap, a, a scrap piece of uh, leather. And uh, what I end up doing is, when I finish it, put it in a frame. And uh, this was like a trial just to see if it would, how it would present. And I love it. It's great artwork, you know, leather tooling. No, one's, no one else has stuff like that, you know. So again, you know, there's so much you can learn with old motorcycles and the different, you know, aspects of it. You can you can learn how to repair frames. You can learn how to build motors, build transmissions. You can learn how to paint. You can learn how to do, you know, seats, machining. You know, they're, they're, everything. There's so many different aspects of building old motorcycles that you can kind of find your own little niche. For a time, this is what I truly enjoyed. And I hope that one day I can get back into it. Some more pieces you can see here. You know, this is like the first. This is just with the swivel knife cutting out. A little bit of shading. A bit more shading. And then a lot more shading. It just, it's amazing how simply adding a bit of texture can just go from this to this. Another piece I did... You know, uh, belts, made some belts. Wore this one quite a bit for a while. This one, Harley. Started making a tool pouch, you know. And uh, again, it comes back to the old motorcycles. Here's the uh, front fender mud flap that I'll be installing on my 1942 Harley WLC. This was just a piece of leather. You know, you buy it from, uh, there's, various leather places you can buy from and uh get creative you know learn a new skill it's uh it'll it'll benefit you mentally and it's uh it's a fun fun process